Hey man, say man, look, it's your boy BJ, you hear me? We back with another one, and best believe, I got a special guest for y'all, man. Look, a lot of y'all might know him, a lot of y'all might not know him, but best believe y'all finna find out who the fuck he is, you hear me? Hey, Mr. 601 himself, man, he the sip to your drink, you understand me? Hey, look, he the splat to your splatter, my nigga sip in the motherfucking building, you hear me? Hey. Come on, direct, come on, man. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. tell me who you see with a harder challenger than this motherfucker. I'll Please wait. tell me. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Come on, man. Splatter. You hear me? Hey, I will wait. Come on, man. Come on, man. Make sure y'all go tap into the Instagram page right here. I'm going to have it down in the description as well. But, man, look, I'm out here with my dog. And he finna give us a rundown on what made him come up with this masterpiece. Cause I'm telling you, man, you not gonna find a challenger harder than this motherfucker. I promise you, you not. You not. If you do, please send me photos, videos, or whatever. Wait to see. You heard him. You heard him. <laughs> you, you waiting to see. Wait to see. Hey, look. Like we said, you heard him, man. So, man, look, sir. Yo. Please tell me what what made you come up with this idea. What's the whole process, bro? Man, I am an avid Deadpool uh, uh, connoisseur and fan since I was a kid. I ain't never really liked the superheroes winning all the fucking time. <laughs> so my nigga Deadpool was a smart, witty asshole, and that's 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 me in in, in, in retrospect to myself. So I, I literally wanted my car to look like Deadpool stole it. I went and got the seats done. I had the red leather interior to match his outfit. I knew that it wasn't gonna do me no good to do Deadpool round for stickers because that was shit that I had found. So I wanted the car to literally look like the nigga stole the bitch and gave it back to me when he finished doing what he was doing. Right, right, so I went right. And I had it. Uh, I found the graffiti artist. Shout out to Space City Art Creations. This is his first and only car that he's ever painted. He don't paint cars. I was scared as fuck. So he hold up, hold up. Let me stop you right here. So this is not a wrap. It's not wrap. This is a paint. This is paint. Oh man. Paint. He even got me with this shit. Yeah. I'm thinking this is no that's man. Paint. This is paint, y'all. This shit is paint. This is not even a route. Nope. Nope. This is not even a fucking route, bro. Nope. This is paint. He just let somebody go crazy. crazy on this bitch. And look, man. Hey, bro, that motherfucker turned out yep. amazing. It went clay bar paint. Um, it was really only a two day process. I tell people the secret. It only cost me fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I was scared. I had to kind of push him into doing it plus trust him and him trust me and i dropped it off for all white car and came back and this was what it was and literally bro he did his shit like i said it was a clay bar process a full paint process the paint don't scratch off i wanted to leave white chips i wanted to leave white spaces like i said if I, I did my research mm -hmm. i studied how people would hit the windshield and hop up on the top of the car like right we right. got blood everywhere it was supposed to go and he did his damn thing so i shot him out for that and it was almost a year ago and i ain't got a chip left nothing it's been exactly the same as the day i picked this up man hey this motherfucker hard for sure for sure man so when you came up with the idea with the whole paint thing, I'm still blown away about that shit. Because I promise you, I thought that was a rap this whole time. I'm just now finding out for myself, y'all, that <laughs> this is not a fucking rap. This is paint. Yep. This is actual paint. And they, they put it on there so well, it looked like he just ran over a deer or something and yep. kept it pushing. I wanted to have coagulated blood, dry mm. blood, wet blood. Because if you went through a zombie apocalypse, you're going to have some... Some 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 dry blood. You Indeed. Have some wet shit. Indeed. You if have you don't, then <laughs> it's just it wasn't gonna look real. And I, I it's I give a shout out to it's like seven more of them in America with a blood themed right. splatter theme, and, mm -hmm. and but it's all rap. Everybody rap. I'm the only one with paint. I'm the only one with balls deep. Nobody else. Hey. And I'm the only one that looked real as fuck. The other ones literally look like raps and stuff. Yeah, because you can usually tell they'll start peeling off and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's all This motherfucker been looking the same ever since I've met this man. Yep. And, bro, I'm, man, you got me on that one. Yep. You got me on that one. So, look, we know that this is not a rap. This is painted. And they did an amazing job. So, after that, where you find the rims? How, how you how you come up with the rims? Who had them? Did you have to get them painted? I ordered them offline um, from uh, uh, Texas A1 Wheel Sport. And it was funny because I actually made myself really do it. I went rims first. 
I went about three days with an all white car with red rims. With red rims. So I went rims first because I knew the rims were going to be, I needed to have the rims first mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. be able to pull off the blood because it was going to be harder to match the rims. And them actually candy painted rims. It's just dirty as fuck because Houston weather is on some bullshit. Yeah, I told, I told him. I told him on my last yeah. video, bro, we out here to turn up and hopefully we can catch as much footage as we can before that rain comes. So, so they'd be all right. That'd be all right. First. Yep. I went rims first. I got the rims. I, I went to them and I said, look, this is the color scheme we got to go for. From between here to the red leather interior to the, the matching rims outside. I, they, they did me pretty good. They, the rims were uh, 26. Ah, you ain't got to go into the price. You ain't got to go into the price. <laughs> we ain't, hey. <laughs> If they want them, they hit you yeah, up. Yeah, if really they want to know more information, if yeah. we don't go over it, I showed them the Instagram. They and we went 22s. We went 22s and stagger stands with uh, okay, 295s okay. in the back. So we got the 22 inches on there. I'm, I'm Mississippi nigga, so you know we big or nothing. Yes, sir. We yes, sir. big boy ass in the back, so we slid 295s on this thing with no spaces. And so you was able to just slap them on, no spaces, no, none of that? No spaces. Man, yeah. Hey, that's no. a blessing right there. Yeah. Cause them spaces, I hate them motherfuckers. They ain't cause too many problems, bro. Yeah, they make yeah. noise like a son, bitch. True, true. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big, big. So what the inside looking like? Oh my God. Man, man, man. I redid my whole shit. She can be playing, bro. I redid my whole <laughs> shit, nigga. That, so you already, this car already came with red seats? So you had a... Mm -hmm. I got them done. They, they didn't come with the doors. I had a partner in College Station do the doors. The doors is black. I came with the red leather interior seats. That's why I got it. This is white with the red because I already knew what I was going to do when I first searched for that bitch. This is my fifth though. Right, right, right. I, my, my last one was a, a Orange RT Challenger. I had this, a, a 2010 Charger. Plus, I had a two Mac pearl white and white. So okay. I went ahead and did them sons of bitches. But I searched for this one with them red seats because I knew what I was going to do when I got this bitch. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's it. So look. A lot of these motherfuckers don't understand the whole trunk game in Texas. Now you, I know you ain't the only one, but yours most definitely stands out. Yeah. Out here in Texas, what's the whole concept of the whole trunk thing? The trunk thing. Trunk is to let them niggas know behind you what the fuck you got going on. Pop trunk came real tough with the uh, slab culture. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of us that slid into this uh, trunk scheme. Um, shout out to the in-house sound who makes the custom trunks for the uh, charges and challenges. But uh, pop trunk is a big thing out here in Texas. And what we like to do is we like to let you know what the fuck we got going on behind it. So literally in the trunks themselves, we try to showcase what we got going on. Period, point blank. So literally, of course, with the red masses to match, Mr. Splatter himself, he rebuilt and customly did this whole thing that's a wood frame instead of the normal uh, carpet fitting that they have for him. I'm the only one with that wood frame that he redid and redesigned with the color change and kit and everything else that go on. So yeah, we light up and all that good shit, man. Oh yeah, most definitely. We're gonna, we gonna get some footage of that when yeah. it get dark. Do have a pop truck kit in the works right now. It's harder to do for challenges because you got to custom fab that and really cut into the metal for the sit the pumps in a different spot because right. we don't have a wide enough trunk like the Chargers do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. Oh, so hold up, hold up. So the tr the Challenger trunks are a little bit smaller than the smaller Charger? as far as side frame. Okay, the big Charger trunks they wider. 
So where the pumps go, mm -hmm. they got to re-drill into here and they got to cut into the metal to be able to put the pumps back there behind. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I ain't know that. See, so you yeah. learn something new every yeah. day. Yeah. You learn something every yeah. new. So I see you got the subs back here. How, how you hitting? 212? I got three. Three? Three, three 12, okay. 7,000 watt amps. So where the third one at? Facing the back. Ooh. So it's got a custom build inside of them. So you got two facing back here and then one facing me. Okay, so okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 312 back there. Oh, yeah. 312, 7,000 watt amps. Yeah. Boy, boy, so, yeah, boy. Do what he's supposed to with this bitch. Yeah. So, so, okay, so let me ask you this. I see you got the wide tires in the back, and I see you did the, this amazing theme on this car. But the reason why I brought up the wide tires in the back, do you have any performance done to this vehicle? Performance to this vehicle, yes. We got a custom fabrication of muffler and resonator delete. Mm -hmm. We got a custom two pipe setup on there. Uh, bigger throttle body, throttle body spacer, uh, of course, pedal commander, plus a uh, gear ratio tune on this one. Okay, okay. So look, a lot of people are going to be fucked up about this. Because I'm pretty sure they looking at this and, don't know. and think yeah. this motherfucker is what is no. actually not. No. This is the hardest, and when I say the hardest V6 Hey, y'all hope y'all listen. Six. This is a V6 Challenger. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very. It, it gave me a lot of flack because it was a six until people actually run with this motherfucker and realize that 392s don't leave me. <laughs> so literally, I, I, I've been a mechanic since I was 16. Um, so literally, everything I've done beside the custom pipe itself, I did my damn self. So performance spark plugs, performance coils, like I said, gear ratio tune, plus the pedal commander. I boost the same 345 that the Hemis do start out with, Come with on. a six. Come and on now. 22s and big boy ties. In Come on now. Yeah. Now look, y'all yeah. be seeing me slide that motherfucker over there. Hey, <laughs> I ain't the only one now. Yeah. I ain't the only one now. Hey, this man back here getting that water with you. No, hey, no cap. He getting, he, he getting that water wheel. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you want to show him a little something? Yeah, we got parking lot space. I ain't tripping. Hey, we just showed y'all this car. We finna let him turn up real quick. Hey, look, we done with this video, bro. <laughs> we done with this video, man. Hey, we gonna catch y'all on the next one. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Yes, sir. Hey, tap in with my dog. Please do. Please tap in with my dog. Tap in with and it. What's yeah. your YouTube video? YouTube, SIP Space TV. It's only me and a white dude with a wig on his hand. I ain't that white boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we out. <laughs>